Scott Highlands, welcome to the SHMS News for today. It's Friday, October 28th. It is a red day. Today's lunch options include chicken alfredo, breaded chicken filet sandwich, or a variety of sandwiches and salads. Here is a look at the lunch menu for the next week so you can plan ahead. Happy Friday! We will see partly cloudy skies today with a high in the low 60s. The weekend looks beautiful. Hope you can get out and enjoy it! Calendar time! The book fair begins today. Stop down and check it out. Fall sports are officially done. Great job to all our fall sports athletes. Remember, lockers must be cleaned out by the end of today. Hello, web leaders. You have an all web leader meeting on Tuesday, November 1st. Put it on your calendar. We are continuing with College Knowledge Month. Only a few chances left to win some college swag. Remember, you can find the Google form for today's trivia question on Schoology. A lot of colleges provide the option for students to live on campus while they attend school. What do you call the residence halls that students live in? Hola estudiantes, November 1st is commonly celebrated as Dia de los Muertos throughout many Spanish-speaking countries. It is an important holiday that combines Catholic and Aztec traditions and focuses on remembering and honoring loved ones that have passed away. If you've seen Disney's Coco, you know what I'm talking about. The SHMS Spanish department has created an ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos in the display case at the front of the school. All students and staff are welcome to participate. If you have a picture of a loved one that has passed away, bring it to Senora Hansen in the ITC. Make sure your name is on the back so she can return it to you. Please remember to all students at the end of the day that Locker Bay by Tech Ed is for walkers only. If you are riding the bus or getting picked up by a parent, please use one of the exits at the front of the school. Time for SHMS Sports Update. Congratulations to Addie, Savea, Paige, Adu, Lucia, Josie, Riley, Sophia, and Prithia of the girls volleyball white team. They won their match against Valley Middle School on Monday and finished their season with an undefeated 8-0 record. Way to go, girls! Don't forget, Winter 1 sports begin on Monday. Get registered on My Payments Plus. Need a little Scott Highland Spirit Wear to boost your wardrobe? SHMS Spirit will be on sale for during conferences on November 2nd and November 3rd in the lobby. Check it out! Remember to all students, please create a combination lock to lock all your stuff up in your gym locker during your gym hour. November is National Novel Writing Month. On Mondays and Wednesdays during the month of November, join the NaNoWriMo group and the library after school to brainstorm, write, and share your ideas. Contact Mr. Audi with any questions. Hi, I'm Bryn. I'm Margo. And I'm Addie. And we're from the Student Council. We are here today to inform you about the Student Council in the upcoming elections. The student Council is a group of students from 6th, 7th, and 8th grade that work on improving to hounds. Some of the things we do include fundraisers, spirit weeks, the spring talent showcase, an end of the year field trip, and much more. Student Council meetings are held at 7.30 on Thursday mornings in Mr. Hemphill's room. Elections for Student Council will be held on Tuesday, November 8th. For more information about signing up, ask Mr. Hemphill in room 40 or the Student Council members. Applications are available for everyone who would want to include Student Council. Remember, you need to fill out and completely accurately. Part of the election process involves this form, so make sure it's a priority you attend or run. Feel free to make posters and flyers, but they must be approved by Mr. Hempfeld. No bribery. These applications need to be turned into Mr. Hempfeld by Wednesday, November 2nd. Thank, Thank you, you for, for listening. listening. Are you missing a coat, lunchbox, or a water bottle? Check the lost and found located in the cafeteria. Items will be donated after student-led conferences on November 3rd. So please check it out before then. Have a great rest of the day, Scott Hines, and please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.